Coverage you can count on continues with Glenn Marini's Sports Report. Just 32 minutes separate Bishop Lures from a trip to Indianapolis. The Knights facing Twin Lakes in the semi-state game in 3A on Saturday at Huntington North at 4 o'clock. That after a double overtime win in the regional championship game this past weekend. And we are proud to honor Bishop Lures as your Optimum Performance Sports Team of the Week. I'm Dr. Ian Nelson of Fort Wayne Orthopedics and Optimum Performance Sports, where we encourage our patients and athletes to rethink their limits. Congratulations to this week's Team of the Week. Welcome to Bishop Lures High School and the Knights. Well, they're making their first appearance in semi-state since 2009, joined by head coach J.J. Foster. What does it mean for your team to get all the way to semi-state? Oh, it was a great opportunity. You know, these young men have worked hard for this and uh, something that all these guys have dreamed of since they've been kids. And mental fortitude was the big kind of message last week, playing two games in one day in regionals. What's the message going into this game? Oh, this game is like uh, what we've been working on all year long, a one-game scenario. You know, to reach your dreams, you have to come out, give it everything that you have. There's no excuses. Let's leave it all on the floor. And it took two overtimes to beat Tipton. Kind of what went into that one, knowing you played earlier in the day and, and you finally pulled it out? What went into that two-overtime game? Um, you know, we knew we were in for a dog fight. We watched Tipton play, and every game they played, they took some teams overtime. Uh, the Marion game, uh, they were down 10 with two minutes to go, so we knew it was going to be something that uh, we'd have to make a play at the end of the game. And we talked about it. Uh, it's not about who's the most physically strong. It's about who's the most mentally tough in those situations. And uh, our guys proved to be a little more mentally tough than they were. And this game, you have a chance to go to Indy with a victory. Do you have to keep their focus on this game especially? Oh, definitely. You can't get to Indianapolis without winning this game Saturday. Um, these kids, they've been getting the message. And, you know, when you talk to them, you'll hear they, they get the message. They understand it's one game at a time. And that's where we practice. And that's how we're going to play. All right. Now, J.J. Foster Jr., he scored his 1,000th point at regionals. And, well, these guys, they know a little bit about what J.J. Foster Jr. can do. So we're going to see if they can do their best impressions. So, Anton Barry, Ray Walker, you ready to try to emulate J.J. Foster Jr.? All right. Go for it, buddy. Calling for the screen, calling for the screen. Fakes it off, shoots it, and it goes in. That's pretty good. Look at him clap. Look at him clap. Look at him clap. That's good. Way to go. Way to go. There he goes. That JJ's going to do his best Ray Walker impression. Uh, he's got a little bit. He got a little bit like that. And I like that. And JJ, come on over here, because obviously those guys are doing pretty good impressions, especially Ray Walker. They got a little bit to him. What's it about your game that makes it so impressionable on these guys? Uh, I don't know. Really, just I don't know. I just play myself every game. And what's it like going into this game for you guys, semi-state? Uh, it's really big, knowing that's our senior year, going to semi-state, and we know if we get this win, that next game is state. So it's really big. And thank you, JJ, and congrats to Bishop Lures, your team of the week. And that'll do it for sports. We'll be right back.